This is one up indie, and as you can see here, I will show you how to actually use some particles in Game Maker Studio. A fair warning, this is some advanced programming, so if you're new to Game Maker, visit my other videos on Game Maker Basics. So let's get right into the good stuff. So how is this all set up? Basically, what we have here, we have a particle setup we just placed in the room, which we haven't created for now. A wall that is just being there for the collision of the rocket and well that's basically it so our rocket here ah and one more thing we just have a controller in the room which is just checking okay if you press the mouse button place at the X and Y coordinate of the mouse button click a rocket and we want to put our real rocket which is not the, the demo version and let's get started. So first of all, let's set up our rocket. This is just some predefined stuff, which you can do as you please. Um, it basically has a fly speed and a reset and a reset timer, which is just in the step event. And when the reset timer is going down, we basically spawn in a particle like here. So. We fly with the fly speed to the right side, very basic movement, very very easy stuff. And then we just have a timer which is running down, when it hits zero, we just reset the timer and then wham, we start with one particle. We just basically spawn one particle at the position of the system, on the place and the particle type we want to spawn here. So let's get into our rocket and for now... We just set up these things, but we haven't created our fume particle. This is what we're gonna do now. So let's get into our particle setup, which is empty. And we start doing our particle system, which we need, um, which we need definitely now as a starting value. The first thing we want to do in our particle setup is to create a particle system so Game Maker Studio knows uh -huh, we want to use some particles. So how do we do that? We just say particle system. And then we say we want to create a system which is blank. System create. Yep. Then we want to create a particle type which is our fume and this is how we set it up. We create an empty um, particle for now which uh, we gonna fill and define with the further steps so we have created our system and our particle so we can actually use it now but there's nothing going on because it has nothing it's just a dot for now but it would work but here we define it first of all we want to have a sprite sprite because we want to use a very specific one which we have over here and we just use let's say the first one so we take this and put it in here and say okay we want to use the sprite do we want to animate no do we want to stretch it? No. Do we want to have a random sub-image? Uh, nah, no. Um, and this is it. Then we want to have a specific size. And as you saw on the preview, we want it to shrink. So we go into the size and define the start value. For now, we just go with a uh, value of 1 so basically it always spawns the same size then we want it to decrease in size because it, we want to make it a little bit smaller and then well then we are almost done here next thing we want to define its life so we want it not to stay around for all the time we just want it to stay around for about one and a half seconds and then that's why we define its life to about 
100 steps which is which is just one second and 40 steps next thing we want it not just to decrease in size but also to decrease in its alpha value um, this just means that it gets a little bit more transparent during its lifetime and it simply looks better when you do it like this uh, alpha 3 we want to have it three stages yeah, to go through in its lifetime uh, we start with a value of 1 so it's fully um, tra uh, fully um, visible then it goes in the middle to a 0 0.5 and then let's say 0 0.2 or 0 0.1 but this is just a thing you have to check out and, and, and what feels right you just put in those values after that and this is optional I put in orientation I want it to spin a little bit so it looks better um, I just checked it out with and without and it simply looked a little bit better and we just put there a little spin just for, for, for the fun of it but you can of course leave it if you don't like it um, this is just playing around so we start with a direction of 0 up to 359 so basically it will start with a random value of the angle then we want the angle to spin a very very tiny bit so we just go a 0 1 per step and do we want it to wiggle? nope do we want to have it relative? yes no it doesn't really matter here and we're done so if we start the system we should already have some rockets spawning some fumes and it doesn't work so what was wrong here? I didn't put the particle into the room because the rocket starts to spawn, the timer runs down and after that it wants to access something which is not there so we have to put it in the room. So let's try again, hopefully it works, come on work work work, sweet it works. So the next thing we want to do, we want the rocket to have a collision with this uh, wall and we want it to be destroyed by the wall so we just say instant destroy after that we want to have it a little explosion effect which is just basically if you go into the explosion this is just basically one object which is being spawned and after it animation ends, so it, it's on its last sub image, it just destroys. That's it, it's just a cosmetic thing. Um, so, as you can see, we just create this little explosion and we create a little shake. So, it's pretty cool as an effect if you always have um, a shake of your screen because it just feels a little more powerful. Um, and we want to create some rubble which we're gonna set up because this is a particle as well um, the rubble particle is basically the same procedure but a little bit more detailed because um, you need more setup features so we start again with um, creating the particle particle and we call it rubble then we create a blank particle again we can copy a few things here but we have to set up definitely more stuff um, here for the rubble I just put in three little images which are just randomly picked and these we will use for the new particle do we want to animate? no, stretch, no, random, yes because we want to have a um, a sub image randomly picked one of those three the next thing we need is its size because we want it to shrink so how do we do that we just go and type come on, size and again go for rubble which I completely forgot to put in here and we start with a value of 1.5 to 2.8 they are pretty big but this is just for demonstration uh, purposes because um, if I show you particles which are very small and need you will not see anything 
that's why I just put them a little bit bigger so just adjust them to your needs in the game um, so they don't feel overwhelming or if you want to put them and do them super huge go ahead uh, I, I don't really mind here so the next thing is you want it also to decrease but um, very very uh, slightly because um, they fly longer and that's why we need to very 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 small value here you see it was uh, 0.1 and here it's even smaller um, it just looks better because it flies longer um, do we want it to wiggle of course not because that's I don't know wiggle wiggle is a strange thing um, the next thing we define is the scale which we actually don't need we just skip on this one the next thing we go for color um, this is again additional stuff you don't have to do for example if you have lots of particles um, images you are using and you have lots of sub images you don't have to do that but I think it gives a little twist it just changes the colors a little bit from gray to, to black versions of the original sprites it just looks a little bit neater but this is of course again something you can skip if you don't need it um, so what do we do here we have three predefined colors which I just copy paste they are basically a little bit grayish and, and, and blackish as an overlay next thing is the alpha because we want it to fade out so we define the alpha as well um, alpha 3 okay I see we have no changes here so we don't define the alpha forget about that um, the next thing is we want it to fly so we uh, have to define a few values like the speed which you um, can so the so these values are uh, five and seven which is not too fast in my opinion and then we want uh, the speed to increase a little bit because after an explosion the particles fly off in a very violent burst and then accelerate a little bit not too much but just a little bit um, after that we want to know where to go so we define the direction where to fly to again here and there we just say okay we want between 0 and 108 that means we just have an upward cone of uh, flying as default for now of course you need uh, here um, a counter force um, to define uh, direction, direction to. And, and this is basically it we don't need any other values beside the cone which is going upwards of course we need some gravity so it does look realistic and we have this counter force of gravity um, that pulls the particles up else they would just go in this upwards cone forever and that would be well but that wouldn't look realistic at all so what kind of amount of gravity do we want i put in here uh, 0.1.5 and and downwards direction of 270 the next thing we want to set up is the orientation so we want them to spin a little bit which always looks neat for flying particles um, and there we define let me check my notes uh, there we define nothing okay we leave this one behind uh, we just skip on this one as well here in this example we don't need some blending or uh, orientation because well you can do that um, but it works just fine without them of course if you have a little bit of spinning in there um, the rubble would look a little more neat but for now I just leave it out we, we don't need it and last but not least of course one of the most important values is the light which we define 
for about one second to one and a half seconds and this is basically it so we go into our rockets check if we used it nope we haven't created this particle we can just take this particles create thing already again in here we can of course uh, take the same particle system the position we can we can take as well but for now we want to use another particle which is the rubble and as you can see now we would just create one rubble piece which is well not a lot uh, because of that we just create an amount variable that we give a random value of let's say 35 to 50 and put the amount value in there so every time there's an explosion you will be having about 35 to 50 particles flying in kind of different direction which is looking kind of neat so let's see if i forgot something doesn't look like it let's check it out if it does work hopefully hopefully it won't run does it work yes it does work sweet um well and that was it Hope you enjoyed that it's it was a little bit off the cuff it's not as structured as normally but for now i guess it should be good enough have a good one one up indie